I am from Bihar. I grew up there. One of the things that I experienced during my childhood was a lack of electricity. And that was a problem that I dealt with in my entire childhood and adulthood. When I was not very comfortable that there are still more than 70 million out of 110 million people in my own home state who were struggling with a lack of supply or lack of reliable power supply. So it combines solar PV for daytime supply, biomass gasification is still something that we use for evening time and battery as a backup so that we can do 24 seven very reliably. You, you know, you're not going to get a 10x return in three years or five years, right? It is a long-term play. You can say it is a boring business, but it is transformational and it takes time for that to happen. R risk appetite in this sector is quite different from others. And therefore this mix that includes finances sponsors from DFI and a corporate strategic partner, I think in my opinion is the right mix to take the company to scale. Our vision always has been to build a utility company for rural parts of the world to deliver 100% you know, renewable, affordable energy so that it encourages economic development or socio-economic development. So that has always been our underlying theme and it was never limited to India. So we are already present in Tanzania uh, and we plan to grow in other parts of both East and West Africa. So in the case of Malawi, we ended up working with the community to identify three core needs. One was access to clean water, uh, another one was access to medical facilities, and the third was access to education. And so we, we've worked with the local community and understand exactly what those needs are. And, and as part of the, the implementation of our project, we've arranged for uh, both some of our own uh, funding to go into those causes, as well we've brought some of our international partners uh, into the country to help facilitate some of these programs. And so at the end of the day, we'll have a very impactful project that is going to allow Malawi to move away from uh, diesel uh, and into solar power, uh, but also we'll be taking care of the needs of the community through the, through the investment in our project, which is really exciting to us. Swedfund has been a, a very important partner to JCM Power. Uh, in particular, Sweat Fund has helped uh, in, in a number of areas, uh, the first of which would be on our corporate governance. Uh, so Sweat Fund, as part of its investment, uh, has taken a, a, a board seat on JCM, and so they've helped us to uh, improve our governance standards and, and policies uh, to that of a world-class organization. Uh, Sweat Fund uh, has uh, also taken quite a key role in working with us on environmental and uh, social aspects. We have an ENS committee that was created uh, after Sweat Fund's investment, uh, to which the senior ESG manager from Sweat Fund uh, helps to advise us and consult with us on important ENS matters, which has been uh, incredibly helpful to uh, to our team as a as a young, uh, growing organization that does not have decades of, of track record and experience in these markets. We have um, the the capital itself that has been invested from Sweat Fund into JCM Power has enabled us to complete the development of this important project in Malawi. Uh, and we're, we're drawing capital from Sweat Fund's commitment to JCM Power in order to uh, take the project through the construction phase and into the operational phase. And so uh, Sweat Fund, both directly and indirectly, uh, have, a, have a major impact on what we're, what we're trying to do as a company.